Yeah, guys, so today we drive the battle van. Oh, can I turn the other direction now? Oh, ooh, there we go. Yep, there we go. And oh, <laughs> something is smoking quite a bit. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is a very exciting day because by the end we should hopefully be able to drive the battle van for the first time since we purchased it from Milwaukee. Able to drive this rusty piece of beautifulness. In order to get this van driving we have to do two separate things. One, we have to replace this shock which just doesn't have a bushing. And then number two, we have to make some new brake lines up front Bleed the brakes, bleed the clutch, since they use the same reservoir, and we're good to drive it. It's not gonna drive amazingly because it needs an alignment and it needs more chopping of the front so it can actually turn, but it will drive. If we do have time, we will cut some more in the front and then hopefully get it aligned. Let's go ahead and get started with removing this shock. I'm also quickly measuring the size of these brake lines. 3 sixteenths, just like I thought, all right. And then boom, I just brought some brake lines online. So easy to get the shocks out of this car. I'm so happy it's finally nice out. I can actually not freeze to death. Hey, would you look at that? There's a bushing. While I wait for the Amazon special brake lines to arrive, I'm gonna go ahead, paint these uh, side trim black. Going for a panda look. And the funny thing is that this actually kinda looks like a panda. Fat and white and black. That describes the panda pretty well. You know, that actually doesn't look half bad, but it really looks like a panda. I think an honorary name for this thing could be the Bud Panda. I went ahead and literally just painted over the, the key marks, and it doesn't look bad. I mean, up close you can tell, but it's, it's okay. And I also just kind of painted over some of the rust spots. Yet again, doesn't look great up close, but on camera from far away, it's better. So I'm gonna sell this thing as a, a rust-free car. It's actually from California, by the way. But it looks freaking sick. Just now imagine an exo cage. Also, I decided we are going to lift the front more by um, putting some spacers in the springs. You'll see. Hey, look what arrived. Amazon special brake line and all the tools I need to make brake lines. Hopefully I know how to do this. Um, I'm gonna do this. On this side, I need to make a line that goes from the end of this rubber line into this rubber line. See, it's, it's a hard line, then a rubber line, then a hard line, and then a rubber line. I really don't understand why they did that. I don't know why they didn't just do a hard line to a rubber line that went into the caliper, but whatever. It took me a while to figure out how to properly flare a brake line. Probably not the best flare, but you know what? It'll do for the battle van. I estimated the new brake line needed to be about 11 inches. Screw flaring brake lines. Now I should have to do that four or five more times or something like that. That's decent. Boom. Unprofessional, but it works. First I got to fix this brake line. Attach the rubber line there. We were so close to finishing. 
Just had one more flare to do. And now we can't finish today because the flaring tool stripped the threads that hold the brake line in place in the machine just stripped out. So when I try to flare the end of the brake line, it just pushes the brake line through the tool. Another AutoZone tool rental has failed me. And of course, it's too late to go get a different tool, so I gotta wait till tomorrow. So frustrating. Things always take longer than they're supposed to, and it's very inconvenient for schedules. I just wanna drive this thing. I was so close. Just one more. One more is all I had to do. I'm not surprised that I really, really dislike uh, doing brake lines. It's not really hard, it's just time consuming. Well, see you tomorrow, Panda. I returned the other flaring tool to AutoZone, bought a new one, and it immediately broke. Ugh. I also figured out that I might have been doing it wrong this entire time and missing a very important step at the end, which turns it from like a bubble flare into a double flare. I don't know. But yeah, I might have to redo every single brake line I made. This one looks so much better than any of the other ones I did. Um, so the other ones I did might leak, but we're gonna put this last line on and start bleeding the brakes, see what happens. If they do start to leak, we'll redo them. If they don't, then we'll just rock it. Fuck me. Right when you think you're done. Now you have to find a way to get the bleeder open without fucking placing the caliper. Oh my gosh. Well boys, time to get a new caliper. That is the bleeder. Uh... Honestly guys, I'm just so freaking done with this thing. Uh, it's just the combination of you guys not really liking it that much, um, it being a pain in the ass, and me having to put so much money into it. It's just, I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna bleed the brakes the best I can and just, just send it. I need to drive this thing. I just, I wanna drive it so badly, even though like, <laughs> it's just gonna rub and drive like shit, but that's okay. Um, over here, this caliper is definitely seized because there's fluid going into the caliper uh, and then it's not doing anything. It's like when she's pressing the brakes, I can spin it all around and yeah, there's no air coming out of the system or anything. I mean, that is a glorious sight right there. All my troubles are kind of worth it. It's like almost as tall as the bus. It's crazy. It we also have no windshield wipers for this. Two things you notice when sitting in the seat of the battle van. Number one, you're so high up and the windshield is so like flat that uh, you see everything. And number two is that you can't see anything because the windshield wipers aren't working. Oh, I see, I see a microfiber towel back there. It's also idling at like 2,000 RPM. And it also misfires at 3,000 RPMs, so we got 1,000 RPMs of working rev range. That didn't really work. Moisture. Hey, hey, hey. So yeah, no, the brakes are dangerously bad. turn left at all. I can turn right, I just can't turn left. And the problem is we have to do four left turns. Yeah guys, so today we drive the battle van. Oh, can I turn the other direction now? Oh, ooh, there we go, yep, there we go, and oh. <laughs> yeah, so finally, after um, what, like a month of owning it but not being able to drive it, we are driving it. Something is smoking quite a bit. Look at that travel though. 
Also, peep the uh, the shift knob. <laughs> okay, we got a problem. Big problem. What's that dripping? That's a lot of green stuff. I can't tell where it's coming from. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Um, this might be a good sign if it's just that hose leaking. But the question is, do we really want to fix it? At the moment, it needs brake lines, um, two new calipers, two new rotors, two new pads up front, that coolant line, uh, a lot of coolant, and a lot of cutting. It also needs spark plugs, maybe a distributor, maybe wires. That's gonna be it. The, the van drove, we drove it for the first time. It's kind of fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, give it a dislike. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace out, guys. I'll see you next time.